Third and Simons, each with 10. You know, at this point, the Blazer defense is just not physical or interrupting the, the, com the comfort of the Clippers. Second free throw is in. It's a 23-point Clipper lead. Eric dribbles right and hands it to CJ around to the top of the key. The free throw line, the pass is deflected by George, picks it up in the open court. Covington comes to help. He misses the layup, and CJ grabs the rebound. It's a four-on-four four the other way. Here's Simons, kicks to the corner for Dame. Goes left, steps back, three-pointer is off. Nurk tips it, but into the hands of Bledsoe. The Blazers didn't allow the Clippers to get the easy layup. They miss a shot on the other end. Here's Bledsoe, splits, turns, fouled, no good. So Bledsoe will head to the line. You know, Anthony Simon did a good job closing out, running Eric Bledsoe off the three-point line, but he ran him right in, or he allowed him to get right into the middle of the lane and use his footwork and pivot to draw a foul. The Clippers have made two fewer free throws than the Blazers. They've only made three more three-pointers. As the first free throw is good. But the difference in this game, Michael, the turnovers, as the Clippers have taken 12 more shots than the Blazers and made 11 more. Yeah, the Blazers have just been, uh, I won't say careless with the basketball because they've tried to execute. You know, but they've tried to, it's almost like you, you execute because you want to get to the play and you want to get to certain options versus take what the defense gives. Free throw is good, and it's 77-52. 25-point L.A. lead. Dame gives it up and gets it back from McCollum. Dame to the wing. Turns and fires a pass back up top for C.J. with 10 to shoot. Now to Nurk, hands it back to McCollum. He drives, steps back, three-pointer, no good. Tipped in the air, Nurk gets it. He goes back up, no, off the underside of the rim. More opportunities, that can't fall. Transition three from George, that's short. Covington, the long rebound. Didn't see Dame, now C.J. does. Gives it to Lillard, splits the defense, steps through, goes up left hand, no. Ball bounces around and is controlled by the Clippers. Here comes Bledsoe with it the other way. And he'll slow it down and give it to Batum. On the far side, Bledsoe pops a three over CJ. It's no good. And Covington with the rebound. Simons now will slow it down. He takes it across the timeline and gives it to Rocco. He dribbles right now to Lillard, double teamed. Swings his arms through and gets the screen. Comes around to the top of the key. Bounce pass to Simons. Catch and shoot three. In and out. Blazers 6 of 28 from three. Here's an off. No, a foul is going to be called on CJ uh, as Bledsoe ran into him. Michael, the Blazers shooting 21% from three tonight. You know, in the way that they're shooting them, it's, it's almost like you want them to turn them down and, and drive the basketball or dribble handoff or go to a different action because it's almost like settling for the three at this point. They're, they're open looks, but they're not rotating the defense to get to those looks. So the Clippers are keeping their defensive shell intact, not spending a lot of energy on the defensive end, and then running out. Two more free throws here, this time from Bledsoe. The first one is good. The Blazers have taken 28 threes. They've, make it, they've made six. They've taken 24 twos, and they've made 16. Well, the Blazers came into this game averaging 54 points in the paint. Uh, I think they had 58 in their first game and 50 in their second game. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's a recipe for success that it would appear they've gone away from somewhat in this game tonight. Second free throw, no good. Just 24 points in the paint for the Blazers tonight. Down 26 with five minutes to play in the third. Covington on the wing. Runs it up off the glass. No, through traffic. Poked out of bounds. Blazers will hold on to it. You know, we talk about the Trailblazers' turnovers. Got to give the Clippers uh, some credit uh, on the defensive end. Paul George has a career-high eight steals in this game. Wow. And there's still almost 17 minutes left. Quick about to Simons, corner three. Back rim, no. George will bring it up. Goes left, splits the defense. And a whistle. And a foul is called on Nance. The pace of this game has slowed way down, too.
Fourth foul on the Blazers, so none left to give with 4.46 to play in the third. You know, the Blazers came into this game averaging a league best 127 points a game, sitting on 52 now, deep into the third quarter. Bledsoe with the stutter step in the drive, left hand, no. And the rebound is controlled by Lillard. That's his third. Lead out, gives it to Dennis Smith Jr. Into the corner for Simons. Steps through, looks for Dame. Cutting to the rim, goes for the dunk. No, he's fell. Offensive foul on Damian Lillard. Wow. You can only say wow to that. you got to give credit for the elevation and the heart and the takeoff of Damian Lillard. He put his hand he's inside in the, face. the restricted area. Yeah. Take another look. Both, both feet are a good foot inside the restricted area. I'm, I'm surprised Chauncey didn't challenge that. Here's a steal. Covington three. No. Ball is tipped and grabbed by Paul George. I mean, that, Michael, that's not even remotely close. Here's a bounce pass to Hartenstein. He comes in and runs right over Dennis Smith Jr. And an offensive foul is called. So a nice job there by Smith to draw the charge on the other end. Going back to the other play, Travis, I, I, I know, you know, we're on radio and people are driving down the freeway or, you know, they're in their living room, so they're not looking at this game maybe. But Damian Lillard elevated higher than I've ever yeah, seen him. On I've never seen him jump like that, no. And both feet of Hartenstein were in the restricted area, and then there was probably enough room for somebody else's feet in between his feet and the line. Smith will bring it up, but the Blazers down 26. There's a whistle away from the ball. Waiting to see what the call is. Brent Barnaki heads over to the scorer's table. Still trying to figure it out. Oh, this is the, uh, there's an equipment malfunction. I don't know exactly what that means. The shot clock sits at 22. Now they've changed it to 20. So the shot clock didn't start in time. Simons finds Covington and now to Nance on the far side. Now to Lillard on the wing. Steps back, long two, fades away. It's a round and out. Poked into the hands of Bledsoe. The aim is 4 of 14 tonight. No look pass to Kennard. Three-pointer from the far side is good. Kennard's got 20. He's made five threes. He's never scored more than 13 in a game against the Blazers. That was with Detroit a couple of years ago. Covington out to Smith. Now to Nance in the baseline. Faces up with Hartenstein. Gets in the paint, turns. Hook is short. Nothing going right for the Blazers offensively in this game. Bounce pass to a cutting. Paul George just loses the ball. Hartenstein is right there at the free throw line to grab it. Now to Kennard, crossover in front of Smith. Gives it up and gets it back. An offensive foul is called on Hartenstein. Okay. It's a 29-point L.A. lead. You know, at, <clears throat> at this point, Travis, uh, it's reasonably safe to say that the Clippers are playing with more energy and effort than the Blazers. I think that's fair. And, you know, if you're the Blazers, you got to... You got to match the energy and the effort, whether yeah. you match the shot making or not. Uh, you know, you just don't want to give a team that type of psychological advantage. Dame top of the key. Dribbles right now through the paint. All the way to the corner on the far side. Defended by Winslow. Crosses over and drives back. Fades away. Blocked out of bounds by Justice Winslow. With 4.3 in the shot clock. Three oh four to play in the third. Blazers down 29. Just 52 points in this game. What we're seeing now is a breakdown in execution. Oh, you there's know. definitely a breakdown as the inbound pass goes off of Simons and Nance. Either one of them could have caught it, and instead they both go for it and knock it out of bounds. 20th yeah, turnover. But Nance game. was supposed to screen for. I mean, that, that, they just didn't execute the out of bounds play. Here's Kennard bringing it around and giving it up top. Now to the near side for Winslow. Drives, goes up left hand, banks it in. 83-52. Now Dame on the drive, goes to the rim, blocked from behind and fouled by Winslow. Timeout on the floor. 
2.37 to play third quarter. It's L.A. 83 and the Blazers 52. We'll take a timeout on the Deschutes Brewery Trailblazers Radio Network. A smile is a powerful thing, especially when it's protected by the nation's largest network of dentists, Delta Dental. Not only is a healthy smile a good indicator of your overall health, it also comes in handy when you're stealing the fries off your friend's plate, even though you didn't want fries. But here you are, smiling that healthy smile of yours, taking one after another. Schedule a checkup today and unleash your smile power with affordable dental benefits from Delta Dental of Oregon. What if downloading Umqua's new go-to app and chatting with a financial expert was just like calling time out to talk with the coach? <gasps> coach, should I put 15% down on my mortgage and put the rest of my money under my mattress? Well, let's put more down on your mortgage and the rest in an Umqua Money Market account so you have something set aside for unexpected expenses or a bathroom remodel next season. Wow, thanks, Coach. At Umqua, we think talking to your banker should be as easy as talking to your coach. Download the Umqua go-to app and chat with your own go-to banker today. We're Umqua Bank, your Rip City Bank people. Member FDIC. This fall, men's college basketball takes over Moda Center as PKI, the Phil Knight Invitational, returns November 16th. Brigham Young University travels to the Pacific Northwest to battle your Ducks, the University of Oregon. Both teams are coming off an NCAA tournament appearance. Tickets are on sale now. Don't miss BYU versus U of O at Moda Center. For information, visit PKInvitational.com.